टीम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल इन केस यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब सो दिस सब्सक्रिप्शन वोट कॉस्ट यू एनी मनी बट इट हेल्प मी अलॉट ऑल्सो इन केस यू आर अ डेवलप्स इंथोजियास्ट देन यू शुड डेफिनेटली सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज आई अपलोड वीडियोज ऑन डेली बेसिस एट मॉर्निंग नाइन ए एम ओके नाउ लेट्स जम्प इन टू द वीडियो ओके टीम सो दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली अबाउट द रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ ए डेवाप्स इंजीनियर इन केस यू आर वॉन्डरिंग हाउ यू आर गेटिंग बेनिफिटेड फ्राम दिस वीडियो सो बेसिकली वेन यू आर गोइंग टू स्विच टू अ कंपनी और जॉइन ए न्यू कंपनी एज अ डेवाप्स इंजीनियर इन इंटरव्यूज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट अ पर्सन आस्क इज वॉट आर यूर रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इन योर प्रोजेक्ट और लाइक वट फॉर योर डेली डे टू डे टास्क ओके as a devops engineer so to answer this question in a very professional way as well as in a like point to point way so that interviewer is satisfied with your answer and it provides a good feedback on your resume as well okay so in this video like i will share you 10 uh, 10 most important tasks that are performed by a devops engineer okay in any project okay so let's start with the task 1 okay so the first responsibility of any devops engineer is to like is in the field of automation and configuration management so as a devops engineer you must be able to automate different tasks and configurations okay basically there are there could be different type of task for example you you need to be able to automate builds deployments testing and more okay and these all things you should be able to do using different tools and uh, technology for example if you are having jenkins then you should be able to make the job in such a way that it is automatically triggered whenever there is a commit or push in your repository then you could use like uh, uh, tools like argo cd which that which directly take uh, code source code from uh, github and directly deploy also so you need to be able to automate all these sort of tasks okay and different example of these uh, tools is like uh, uh, you could use ansible chef puppet docker uh, and even jenkins argo cd and different tools okay next responsibility is continuous integration and continuous delivery slash deployment so as a devops engineer you know that it's all about building and deploying of applications so you should be like uh, able to properly maintain a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines like you could use you could be using different tools for example jenkins team city uh, bamboo or like uh, even azure devops or any other tool that that pro- that provides you the ci cd Uh, pipeline creation okay so basically you should be able to automate even that uh, code so that everything goes to uh, like everything is deployed successfully in a production environment okay and there are different uh, tools for ci cd that are like jenkins travis then circle ci then team city you could even use azure devops for like uh, creating ci cd pipelines and at this point like even aws has devops its own devops where you can create ci cd pipelines Okay so next up we have infrastructure provisioning so basically as a devops engineer you need to be able to provision and configure infrastructure okay this could include setting up cloud instances configuring networks or provisioning and configuring storage okay so basically in this section like you you, you should know how to create different resources it could be vm it could be a n- different network it could be like a, uh, like a, if we are using uh, azure devops or azure cloud it could be different services like function app logic apps uh, adb azure data data bricks data factory these sort of things so you should be able to automate the provisioning of these resources whenever it's required okay so there are different tools available for performing this uh, provisioning task which are most commonly used tool is terraform then we have cloud formation in aws and then we have packer okay so next up we have performance monitoring and optimization okay So as a devops engineer you should know how to monitor and op- optimize the performance of a system for example we are using jenkins then we should be able to like monitor how it performs if it is like getting in a frame if it is like not getting like out of memory issues or something okay so this could include like uh, this could this this responsibility could include uh, measuring of performance metrics identify bottlenecks and optimizing application and system configurations okay so for each like tool or technology that is being used in your project uh, as a devops perspective then you should be able to monitor for example there are different tools available one of tool known as grafana so grafana can be integrated with the tools that you are using for example jenkins gitlab 
and from there you can monitor like how many jobs are in jenkins how many plugins are installed in jenkins in case of gitlab you can monitor how many repositories are there when was the last commit done uh, like who did the last commit so everything can be monitored through uh, this mo- monitoring tool okay so the tools uh, for this purpose are like new relic splunk datadog then we have uh, prometheus grafana okay so next up we have security and compliance which is one of the most important responsibility of a devops engineer in this case like uh, engineer should be able to ensure security and compliance of the system this could include like setting up security controls implementing security policies managing access control and so on okay also for example when you are creating pipelines you should make sure that you are following best practices as well as like performing different uh, security scans on your uh, repository folder system docker images uh, or even your deployment cluster okay so different tools for security purposes are like which are available are like white source tripwire os dependency check sonar cube uh, sonar cube tool then we have trivi okay so these tools can be used for uh, like maintaining and making sure that security and compliance is maintained in, inside your project okay so next up we have collaboration and communication so basically in this section what needs to be done is that uh, proper communication is maintained between different team members how it can be done basically like for example let's consider a scenario in which one person is working on a specific task okay so every time if some other team member wants to know update or track the progress of that they cannot every time come to the team member and ask how much you have done how much you have completed instead of that they will go to a, a tracking tool for example like confluence or jira okay so jira is a ticketing tool where a task details of the task description and updates will be mentioned so every time if someone wants to track the progress how much work has been done they can go there and they can track the progress okay similar similarly we have confluence also confluence is like a sort of documentation tool which is also from uh, atlassian okay so like everything that is being done can be kept in a documentation format over confluence which can be accessed by, accessed by all the team members so in this way like these two tools mo- mainly like uh, confluence then we have jira then we have slack this could be used very effectively to maintain proper collaboration and communication among team members so next up we have scripting and programming so these days like everyone saying ki there is no coding required in devops that is completely false as per my experience like a proper coding is required because without uh, sh- scripting in devops there is no devops i think because scripting helps you automate tons of task which is like like which can be executed very easily okay so at this point like there could be uh, uh, there could be like a task to write script to automate different like pipelines task or like writing code to integrate systems or writing code to optimize performance so these are required uh, which need a script to be written okay so this script can be written in the form of uh, in like uh, python language bash scripting or it also in like ruby ruby language okay so a person that definitely sh- uh, should know this scripting and like programming even in devops because uh, they they make this automating task very easier okay okay so next up we have deployment and release management which is one of the most important uh, responsibility in case of uh, devops okay so you know that previously also i said like in devops mainly in simple words if in layman terms if i say we are building an application deploying it and managing it so that it runs fine okay so as a devops engineer you should be able to deploy and manage releases okay this could be including like creating and managing deployment pipelines managing release processes and managing rollbacks okay so in case of uh, this section basically what it means that you should be proper if when you are creating uh, like deployment pipelines which may or may not be like uh, separately so if you are creating it separately that is a good thing so basically like uh, when everything is done final stage is to like deploy the application on like uh, deployment cluster which may be kubernetes or openshift anything you desire okay so that everything should be done following the best practices and the release management should be like uh, done properly so that we know like which version is going on the uh, deployment and in case any issue occurs then if you have done everything right you can easily roll back to the previous version so that to minimize the downtime of the downtime of the application okay so like uh, 
DevOps engineer should know proper uh, deployment process and release management process. Okay. Uh, so example of these tools uh, are like uh, Spin uh, Spinnaker, then we have App Dynamics, then we have Kubernetes, then we have OpenShift, then we have Flux, uh, then we have Argo CD. There are other tools also as well which help in deployment and release management. But as a DevOps engineer, uh, this these things should be known by engineer how to do these things. Okay. Okay. So next up we have uh, troubleshooting and problem solving. Okay. So you know like whenever we are creating pipelines and running them, uh, sometimes they fail. Okay. So a DevOps engineer should be very like uh, excellent in like figuring out the issues and fixing them. Okay. So the best way to do that uh, from uh, what I have like uh, I have experienced in my in my time. So basically like whenever some uh, when I was working with Jenkins pipelines and they used to fail. So directly we should go to logs and to check the issues instead of checking from upside. I always start from like the from the last line because usually error will be coming from the last line only so slowly slowly you will move up and at some point you will figure out what exactly is the issue because of which the pipeline failed okay similar things in case of like Azure DevOps or any other CI CD tool like uh, any issue is coming you should be able to figure out for uh, not only in CI CD tool but also in our deployment clusters sometimes like when you are deploying a pod to OpenShift or Kubernetes they may fail for certain reason so in case we don't know what uh, for what reason they failed we can just uh, check the logs and based on that we can whatever task is required we can perform to fix it okay okay so finally we have cloud computing which is also very important so at this point you know that in most projects everyone is moving to cloud okay moving or migrating you should say more specifically so in those uh, in those section like you should be knowing how to set up cloud instances how to manage cloud dif different resources in cloud and also like how to optimize cloud cost this word that i said optimizing cloud cost is it's very important in case of cloud because you know like all the services that is provided by cloud is chargeable uh, by some money okay so in project we need to make sure that if some service is not being used either we terminate it or either we uh, like stop it to make sure that uh, not a lot of uh, lot amount of money is being charged on that surface okay also we need to like optimize the cost so that minimal amount of cost is going or like uh, uh, like char charged on the different services that we use okay so different uh, like providers that we have on this section is uh, microsoft azure google cloud platform and all okay so that's all for today's video and i hope the video was useful so these are the task uh, roles and responsibilities that you can mention to uh, interviewer when you are giving interview for DevOps engineer. So thanks for watching.